Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. Today's video is about my favorite bottle designs. This is strictly about design. This is nothing about the fragrance inside. I just thought it would be fun for a change to just focus on some beautiful design things in life. I'm filming in regular mode because, by the way, I film on my phone. So for those of you guys who criticize sometimes when things are blurry out of the frame of my body, it's because I use live focus mode. Live focus mode puts you in focus, but digitally alters everything behind you to make it a little bit blurry. So when my hand goes out here, sometimes it becomes blurry. So for the purpose of this video, I'm filming it in regular mode. Nothing is blurry and it's just whatever, but you guys won't complain and you'll be able to see the bottles. And that's what this video is about. So this is a designer edition. I also filmed a niche edition and I'll link it up at the top unless I release this video first in which case I will link it up at the top later but we're just gonna get into it the first brand that I love their bottle designs are of course Chanel Chanel is my absolute favorite I I love their square bottles I love their round bottles the Chanel Chance I love their private lines they're just so like satisfying there's something so pleasing about their bottle they're just timeless classic gorgeous bottle designs coco magnus is one of my favorites but i also really like number five low and i actually probably like this bottle design better just because it's so like it's like a crystal it looks so fragile and i love the way the bottles sound they're just yeah i love that the, the caps most of the time are glass they're just such attention to detail. They're really simplistic, but they're really beautiful. And honestly, nothing really compares to a Chanel, in my opinion. The next bottle design is from Chloe. And this is Fleur de Parfum, uh, my other bottle of the regular Chloe Eau de Parfum. The metal tarnished a little bit. So for the purpose of this video, this is a nice clean bottle. I love their little bow tie. I love the detail on the bottle. This kind of, I don't know how you call it but let me know. What do you call this sort of like ridges? Is it just ridges? Anyway, really, really pretty, feminine, cute bottles. Really love their designs as well. Then Guerlain. I love Guerlain. I have the Mon Guerlain. I love all of their bottles, honestly. I forgot to pull this style of bottle, but I love these. I have a whole bunch. They're just super cute. They're like, I don't know. They're like little antique style. They just look very classic, almost like they're from another time. They don't look like they're modern designs, but somehow still very, very appealing. Love their bottle designs. And I also really love their bee bottles. These are so satisfying. I love the honeycomb on top and just the simple little label. And I just want to have like a shelf full of them. They're so beautiful, but I heard that they're not the greatest longevity. So that's why I'm not going to buy most of them. This one, Tia Zora, actually does last a decent amount of time on me, thankfully. But these bottles are gorgeous. So yeah, I really like this new design. I also really like the Shalimar bottles, but... I can't show every single bottle. I also have a Shalimar bottle. If I had to choose, I like these better than Shalimar, so I left Shalimar out. But that's just my personal taste. Also, Mugler. Mugler's bottle designs are really, really interesting. They're not the typical ty types of bottles that I like. I usually like simplistic, classic, elegant type bottles. But I have all the aliens. Well, not all of them, but I have a bunch. And yeah, I just love their bottle design. So that's Flora Futura. That's the classic alien. I love how ergonomic they are in the hand. Like just the way that this is designed for your finger to rest comfortably. They're all gorgeous bottles. Like they really do kind of look like alien, you know? Alien Essence Absolute I love the most because it's like a little bit rounded and just fits so comfortably in my hand. I think that they just kind of hit the nail on the head in terms of designing a beautiful shape but also making it fit comfortably in your hand because so many bottles don't fit comfortably in your hand but these like they just they're made for it and i love their designs all their bottles have a very similar kind of this edgy look to them i love the angel bottles even though i don't love the fragrance i love the aura bottles they're just they're attention grabbing and they're cool like they're just cool Oh, when I talked about Chloe, I forgot to mention this bottle design, and this is Love Chloe. And I just love the way that they have this rose gold and this little chain here. It's super cute. It almost looks like a piece of jewelry. And it's just, it's one of those that you just want to have it on your counter looking super pretty. So yeah, this is another one. 
almost dropped it, but I didn't. This is another one from Chloe that I really love. And yeah, I did use this much. I actually used this one. Then I really like this bottle design from Hermes, and this is 24 Fabourg, and I love the etching on this. I love how the detail on this, it almost looks like frost. Like, that's what it makes me think of as, like, frost on a window. It's really pretty and very feminine, elegant. The cap fits really nicely on, so you can just hold it by the cap, which for me is, like, you guys paid attention. You guys, like, took note of that in your design, and I appreciate that. So, yeah. This is just really, really nice. I love rose gold. I don't really like yellow gold. So anytime there's rose gold on a bottle, I automatically just like it more. And yeah, it's just, it's really, really pretty. Then this one, I don't know if it really qualifies as designer because this is Maison Lancome. So technically this is like their niche line, but they're really beautiful bottles. And I figure it's like designer-ish. So I figured I'd include it in the designer video. I'm pretty sure these are just like the they're laser cut for sure and really really detailed like it is like a piece of art almost like a like an artwork that's frameable same thing with this one and very detailed very heavy bottles magnetic caps which I love I love magnetic caps like why doesn't everybody make magnetic caps they just they solve all the issues of life seriously And it's so satisfying to just, oh, no, it didn't work that time. It's just so satisfying to click it into place. Yeah, really gorgeous bottles and really nice and heavy. They actually really feel luxurious. So I can validate the cost of these because the bottles speak to the cost of these. And like even the way that the writing is done, is so detailed i'm trying not for you guys not to see reflections of things in my room because it's super messy but yeah love these bottles then we'll mention my burberry these are cute i really like these i like the my burberry blush and i like the original my burberry i just like the way that they've combined this round element with a rectangular element i love the bow ties and how they're all different this is the elixir and they've made it leather the Burberry blush is soft and pink and again attention to detail I really appreciate attention to detail I think this is really really well done I love that the gold here matches the gold here I hate when there's mismatched gold and this is obviously well crafted so yeah this is not a magnetic cap but it still attaches really really well super pretty well done Burberry love it and finally an honorable mention because I guess it's not technically designer it's Banana Republic. Their bottles are actually absolutely flawless. I love it. I love the metal cap. Also magnetic. Like, even Banana Republic, I think it's magnetic. No, I've confirmed that it's not magnetic, but it fits into place as though it is magnetic. And it clicks really nicely. I honestly always thought it was magnetic because the, the cap is so heavy. Really nice, heavy glass bottles, very niche quality, very like simplistic, not trying too hard to look good, but also really looking good. All their bottles look amazing. I love all of their designs. I love the ones with the color in them. I have the gardenia and the pe peony and pink peppercorn. I'll show you. Honestly, sometimes I just get sold on the packaging, but these ones actually follow through in terms of quality as well. So that's the gardenia cardamom and it slides out and you have this nice bottle inside. And it's this nice translucent white, really pretty. And same thing with the cap, really heavy and it clicks into place. It's not magnetic, but I think the presentation is really well done, especially for Banana Republic. I mean, like they are an expensive store, so I would expect it to be well presented, but it's a store brand fragrance, which, you know, like you wouldn't expect it to be that great. And I will say that the longevity on these isn't the greatest, but that's not what this video is about. This is the peony and pink peppercorn. How cute is this pink? It's just like a nice muted translucent pink. Just like really, really pretty bottles. So yeah, those are all my favorite designer bottle designs and designer bottle designs. Yeah, these are all of my favorites. So if I didn't mention one, again, that's not because I don't like it. It's just because I try to keep the list narrow and these are the ones that like really speak to me. So they're kind of my favorites, but I'd love to hear what your favorite bottle designs are, whether they're niche or designer, it doesn't matter. Just let me know your favorite bottle designs 
and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!